All right, boys and girls, this is a follow-up video to identifying integers. In this video, by the end, I want you to understand how to find an integer and its opposite. Okay, the opposite of an integer. Now, that may sound easy, but uh, there's some things that we just kind of need to be aware of. And as long as you're aware of that, then yes, it will be easy. So... First, let me talk about uh, what exactly is an integer. And an integer is, or, the, or not an integer, but the opposite of an integer. The opposite of an integer is a number that's the exact same distance from zero on the number line, but in the opposite direction. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple examples of like that. I have here, I have uh, a number line going from negative 8 all the way to positive 8. And if I wanted to find out what the opposite of 3 was on the number line, I would just simply kind of get a big dot here. Here we go. All right. So I would go to 3 on the number line, which is right there. That's not very big. Let me try to get a bigger dot. Whoa, it's too big. Uh, boom. How about that? Yeah, that's good. All right, so I mark, I graph my, my 3 on the number line. Okay, and the definition of an opposite says it's the exact same distance from 0 on the number line. So 3 is how far from 0? Well, it's 1, 2, 3 places from 0 on the number line. So it's 3's opposite should logically be in the opposite direction on the number line from 0 than 3 is. And that would be, in this case, to the left. So, and it's the same distance, so you count 1, 2, 3, and the opposite of 3 is negative 3 on the number line. So, and I hope you can see the difference between 3 and negative 3. Okay, let's look at another one real quick. What if I wanted to find out what the opposite of 5 was on the number line? Well, same idea. I go to 5. And then I count 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm five places from 0, going to the right on the number line. So 5's opposite should go to the left five places. So let's count and see where we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And look at that. We're sitting right at negative 5 on the number line. So the opposite of 5 is negative 5. All right, I'm going to show you two more examples. And then we'll move on to something different here. Uh, let's see. Clear, 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 clear. All right. The next one I want to look at is negative 2. Okay. And you might kind of start catching how this works. Hopefully you are. So if we look at negative 2 on the number line, we are to the left of 0. So its opposite should be to the right. Let's count how many spaces it is from 0. 1, 2. All right. Simple. Two places from 0. So we go to the right two places, 1, 2. And look at that. The opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. All right, and I hope you're seeing, seeing the relationship here. All right, and the last one we're looking at is negative 7. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is find negative 7 on the number line, which is right here. So we graph it. All right, the next step, we are going to count the number of places from 0. 7 is away. So, and then also, it's to the left. So that means the opposite of negative 7 is to the right. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm 7 places from 0. So that means its opposite is going to be 7 places to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And bingo, there we go. So the opposite of negative 7 is positive 7. All right, let's look at another slide here. Okay, so now we're just going to simply not use a number line and write the opposite of some of these given numbers. So the first one I want to show you is negative 6. What is the opposite of negative 6? Well, if we think about it, six, negative 6 is 6 places to the left of 0 on the number line, so that means its opposite is going to be 6 places to the right. Well, what number is 6 places to the right except for 6? Alright, so 6 is the opposite of negative 6. 
Let's look at this next number here. We got 5. So what's the opposite of 5? Well, 5 is 5 places to the right of 0 on the number line. So its opposite is 5 places to the left of 0, which would happen to be negative 5. So negative 5 is the opposite of 5. All right, let's look at this one. This one's a little bit bigger. Glad I didn't try to put this on a number line because that's a big number. Okay, but it doesn't really matter how big these numbers are because they still have an opposite. Okay, so 53 is 53 places to the right of 0 on the number line. So that means its opposite has to be 53 places to the left of 0 on the number line. So any number to the left of 0 is going to be negative. So our opposite of 53 is negative. 53. Make sure I'm getting my numbers there for you. All right, let's look at another one. Two more. Or one more. Let's just do one more. All right, negative two-thirds. Oh my gosh, Mr. Bell, this is a fraction. How am I ever going to do a fraction? Well, trust me, it, it's not that difficult, okay? If negative two-thirds, which direction from zero is that on the number line? It's to the left, okay? I don't know if that's showing left or not. Um, it's to the left of zero because it's a negative. That means its opposite is going to be to the right of zero, which means it's going to be what? Positive, exactly. So, um, and it's the same distance. So if two-thirds is two-thirds of a unit from zero to the left, then its opposite is going to be two-thirds of one unit to the right. So two -third, negative two-thirds opposite is positive two-thirds. If I can make that three happen for me. There we go. That's a little better. So... That's how you just thinking about it can come up with the opposites of these numbers. All right. Now I want to graph them as well. All right. So we're going to graph a couple of these real quick. Let's look at four. Okay. So I'm going to, all right, this looks good. I want to graph each number and its opposite. So here's four. So 4's opposite is going to be, four. since 4 is positive, it's to the right of 0. That means its opposite is going to be the left of 0, which is negative 4. So we counted, all right? We counted from the 0. We went 1, 2, 3, 4. So we do the same thing. From 0, you count 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's where its opposite is. So the opposite is negative 4. All right, let's look at another one. How about two? Let's change colors this time. Let's use yellow. I don't know how well yellow is going to show up. So the two is the number we start with. All right. And that is right there. Oh, that shows it pretty good. So its opposite is going to be two places. All right. Well, let's set first say two is two places to the right of zero. So that means its opposite is going to be two places to the left. So I count, make sure, one, two. Yep, I'm two places from zero, so I count to the left. One, two. Well, guess what? My opposite of positive two is negative two. So we got negative two. All right, let's look at this last one here. This one, I might even clear this just to be on the safe side. All right, clear annotations. All right, good. Let's look at this last integer. And we have, or at last number rather, half. It's not really an integer. Yeah, it's not really an integer. That's going to get in. We're going to get into that later. It's going to be a rational number. But this works for our purposes today. All right, so one negative, or one half. So negative one half on the number line will fall, well, between zero and and one. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Let's just put that. So we'll just say, let me change colors again. We'll make it, we'll make it, we'll make it green. All right. So that will fall on the number line right there. So it's a half of a unit, half of one unit from zero to the right. All right. So that means its opposite is going to be one half of a unit to the left of zero. So that tells me that the opposite of one half is negative one half all right and that's all there is to finding numbers and their opposites okay make sure you answer the questions and come to class with any any additional questions that you may have